We are counting down the start to a new school year. South Carolina students go back to school Monday. CMS students will be back in class the following week. And tonight we are showing you the wants and needs of teachers. Yeah, they spend hundreds and sometimes thousands of their own dollars to make education inspiring, interesting, and engaging for all of our children. But they need your help to do it. In 13 days, the bell is going to ring and school's going to be in for students. But for teachers like Ms. Johnson at Sedgefield Middle and CMS, school's already in and it's adding up fast. <laughs> Ms. Johnson teaches English language arts. She's an out of the box thinker and she says she needs your help to make reading fun and interesting in her new reading nook, which for the moment is bare. Somebody could even build you something for your reading space. Absolutely. Um, my vision, my Pinterest vision is different than what my budget allows, but even if someone was to build a table or a lower table or a high table, high chairs, things of that nature, um, more flexible seating. Her vision is a Starbucks like bistro set. Surely somebody out there has those skills or a budget to help her. Next door, science class is in for Ms. Rodriguez. The needs here are many, but dollars, likewise, are scarce. And most back to school spending is focused on kids' supplies. So, as a teacher, what do you need? Um, I need those things as well. I mean, I need anything from, from containers to bins to, to paper, highlighters, markers. I mean, a lot of like office supplies, you know, um, whiteboards, uh, whiteboard markers, pens, pencils. Investing in your kids' teachers is actually an investment in your kids and your community. After all, these kids might be hired by you. They might heal you or one day defend you. They might even, down the road, take care of you. Yeah, I'm spending three, four, five hundred dollars every single year out of my own pocket easily. You know, it's a good idea to check in with your kid's teacher sometime around Christmas time is usually right. a good year to do it. Maybe the start of the second semester, because all these supplies that are donated at the beginning of the year sometimes run out by yeah. Christmas time and then they're left to go spend their own money to replenish those supplies in the second semester. They need that fresh set of supplies. Yeah, so just check in with them throughout the year. NBC Charlotte, by the way, taking care of teachers this summer. We're teaming up with ER Plumbing Services to organize a back to school supply drive just for teachers. CMS has given us a list of supplies needed to start the school year off right. So if you'd like to donate, there's a link to the Amazon wish list. We put it on our website for you, wcnc.com slash teachers. You can also take your donations to the Walmart on Pineville Matthews Road. It's going to be this Saturday, August the 18th. We're all going to be out there there from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. So drop by with a donation and say hey.